hello and welcome to this sneak peek video for mamoworld.com. I'm Matthias and today I show you another great tool from Mamoworld that is coming really soon. It's for Premiere Pro and it's called Still Exporter. So Still Exporter solves the issue that exporting stills from your video in Premiere is sometimes a bit cumbersome, in particular if you want to export a lot of uh, clips or a lot of pictures. And um, the idea of still exporter is that you just mark each frame that you want to export with a marker. So I have here already put a few markers in my timeline. Let's say we add some more. Let's say for this uh, train here, I want to have this picture also as a still picture. So I just go to this position, click the M key to introduce another marker. And now if you go to the still exporter, it lists here the images that it will export. So we have six markers, so it will export six uh, pictures in total. You can decide whether you want to have a PNG image, a JPEG, a TIFF or a DPX. Uh, and then you just click export. If you now take a look in Finder, you can see that we have exported these uh, files here, these JPEG images really quickly. Another great thing about Still Exporter is that it's very flexible with the naming. So the default is that it says I take first the sequence name, this is Joburg in this case, and then I add the number of the picture or of the marker. And now if you say, okay, I want to have this, but the number should have two digits, you can write here num2 instead, and you can see you get these nice suggestions here what you could write, and then the names are adjusted accordingly. You can also say, I don't want to have the sequence name here, let's like get rid of this. Yeah, and I just say I want to have the number at the beginning and then I want to have a minus and then uh, whatever my pictures for example. And now you can see that the naming here automatically updates. You have also access to stuff like um, the name of a marker. If you write here name, let me delete this, Like this, you can see that here names are introduced and these are actually the names from the markers here. Yeah? So I have here the name Ponte City. This is m the markers tab from Premiere Pro. And here you have for each marker such an entry where you can enter a name. Yeah, let's say for this marker that we've just uh, created before, we just call this train. And now if we go back here, you can see it automatically updates and the name of this image will become 02 train.jpg. Yeah. Um, you can also access these comments here that you write here. If you like, after the name, let's say we also add a comment. Then you can see it inserts here after the name this blah blah comment, whereas the other ones uh, have no comment attached because there is none. So this is the basic idea. If you have these naming patterns, uh, if you have some of them that you use regularly, then you can even store it. So you can say here, add this pattern to my favorites. Yeah, and now it's here inside my uh, favorites and I have two pretty similar ones here. So let's maybe delete this favorite again. You have also the recent patterns listed here. So it's really done such that it's as convenient and fast to be used by you as follows. So yeah, that's the general idea of still exporter. So exporting all frames that you mark with a marker, flexible naming and export as PNG, JPEG, TIFF or DPX image. Here you just choose a folder where uh, it should be exported. And again, this is a sneak peek. So the tool is coming soon and I'm really looking forward to your feedback for it. So if you have any ideas how we can still improve it, if you have some features that you definitely want to see, or if you just uh, want to say, wow, this is a great tool, just leave a comment below uh, this video here. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to hear what you think about it. Last note, uh, these video clips here are taken actually by my brother, uh, Stefan Müll, who is working in South Africa as a freelance journalist, photographer and uh, filmmaker. So if you're interested in this, just go and check out his website. Okay, that's it from my side. I hope you enjoyed this quick teaser video here and I'm looking forward to see you again in the next video.